Yo, what's up guys? Tavares Media here back with another video and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build an AI influencer chatbot using Vectorshift.ai. Sorry guys for not uploading. I'm pretty sick. I caught sickness this week and it's killing me. I can't even open up my eyes right now how painful it is. But today guys, we're going to be building an AI influencer chatbot with Vectorshift. So let's get straight into it. So I'll leave the link in the description below for you guys to sign up with. I also have my discount code Tavares Media to save 20%. Let's go, guys. Vector Shift is honestly the best alternative right now out there. And uh, yeah, we're building solutions with it. So let's get straight into it. We're going to go into the pipeline, build a new pipeline. I already started a little bit with it because I was trying to record this video like five times, but I had to stop because I just literally was so sick. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go to LLMs, drag OpenAI, GPT 4 Turbo, input, output, connect it together to the prompt and the response. Next, you're going to go to Knowledge Base. Drag your knowledge base, create a new knowledge base, and then you're going to add your knowledge base right here. So this is going to be the website we're using. This is the influencer right here, Icon Amsterdam, who is owned by Samuel Anuha, my guy right here. Yes, sir. So we're going to go ahead and put that into the knowledge base. As you guys can see, we uploaded it right there. Nine vector database is stored. We're going to go ahead and drag this into the system. After that, we're going to go to chat, chat memory, drag this here. Um... What we got to do first is we actually got to, we actually have to drag this. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Give me a second. We got to drag this system, this to prompt, this to prompt. Wait, why is it not working? Hold on, guys. Give me a sec. First, what we need to do, ah, I messed up. I'm sorry, guys. So first, we need to do is add the variables, right? So we're going to add our variables. So the first is going to be a memory variable. So go ahead and create that. Or what you guys can do is just click this. And then click that and then just mem memory variable. So now we can connect memory. We'll add another variable. Let's call it knowledge base. So KB, right? And then we're going to add our, let's see what else we need to add. Any data loaders. I think that's good for now. We're just going to build a very, very, very linear bot. We're going to focus on the main aspect of it, which is going to be an influencer based bot. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this to uh, our knowledge base right here variable then we're going to drag the memory to the memory variable and then we're going to drag this to the system okay now what we're going to do is excuse me let me do something first what we're going to do is you will answer the user's question which is going to be right here input okay right Based on the user's question, fulfill their needs and explain to them about Icon Amsterdam and the owner. So we're going to drag this input right here, and then it should go to the output. All right? So Icon Amsterdam is a clothing brand based in Amsterdam. Oh, Amsterdam. I always do that, bro. Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Sorry. Okay, Amsterdam, owned by Samuel Onuha. Your goal is to help customers get more information on the brand and the owner to potentially become a customer. All right, now we're done. <laughs> Very simple. I'm going to go ahead and click save. SB Sonuha Influencer Sonuha. I'm going to click save. Boom, there we go. Before we do deploy it, we're just going to go ahead and run it and test it. Go to chat bot and let's talk to it. Hey, tell me about Icon. Let's see if it works, guys. Let it load. Boom. Perfect, guys. And it works. Just like that. Icon Amsterdam was founded by Samuel Nuha. Nice, guys. There we go. Beautiful. Icon Amsterdam is a contemporary urban fashion brand. And guys, this is just basic stuff right now. If you guys want me to go very, very in-depth and build full-out solutions, let me know. All right, guys. So this right here is just, you know, if you guys want to lower the, the... And pretty much how you would do this, guys, is what you would have to do is pretty much... So you take this bot, you build it, right? Take it to a very robust and functional process. And pretty much what you do is that you have to